Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use conditional formatting in Excel to highlight a specific row based on the current date or highlight a row based on the current month. So a uh, commenter uh, asked about this in another conditional formatting video, and it's one of these things that's easy to do yet complicated to do. It's easy once you get the hang of it, of course, but uh, the formula seems kind of long uh, to work with it. However, the key to the success on this one is basically we want to highlight the row only if it's the current date. And what is today? Today's February 6th when I'm recording this. So this February 6th should highlight. And we want to highlight a row if it's the current month and year. So obviously, um, the way these are structured, they all say February. They all say the first, but I can obviously we can format that. In fact, let's do that real quick. I'm going to select all of those dates. And I'm going to head over to my formatting. I'm going to go to more number formats, date. And in fact, I'll do a custom here. So when you're doing a custom, you can type in what you want. And there's little codes you can put in. So I could put in M, M, M. And I'm, as I'm typing these little M's, I'm looking up at the sample. That's going to give me a three letter month. And then I'll put in a, uh, a dash. And then I'll do one year, hit two Y's, three Y's. That's going to be a four digit year. So M, 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 dash Y, Y, Y is going to give me a three letter month for uh, character year, click OK, and now those are formatted differently. So now the key to this conditional formatting, we're definitely going to be using the today function. So we need to know that the today function, when used, is always going to produce the current date. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to be using the month function. So when I use the month function, the argument that goes in there is going to be a date. So for instance, I could get the month of the today function. So I've got the today function as the argument of the month function. And that's going to give me a 2 because it's February when I'm doing this. We'll also be doing the, um, the day function. And I'll do the day of today. Oh, there we go. So today is the argument of the day function. And that's giving me a 6 because today is the 6th when I'm recording that. And of course, we'll also be doing the year of today. Today is the argument within the year function. And that gives me 2021. So once you get the hang of these basic date functions and understand that we're going to be putting the today function in there for some of them, it becomes a little bit easier to comprehend. And we're also going to use an AND function. An AND function will allow me to look at a couple of things to see if they're true. So let's give it a shot here. I'm going to go ahead and select my range of data here. And this is data that's uh, in theory every day. So I'm going to select this full range. I'm going to head over to uh, conditional formatting. And I'm going to create a new rule. Now, I'm going to use a formula to determine which cells to format, which means it's best if I'm using an Excel 2019 versus web-based Excel 365. I don't believe Excel 365 gives us the option to create formulas for conditional formatting. And here's what I'm going to type in. I know this is pretty tiny, so I'll try to display it bigger um, on screen there. And this is going to be equals and. And then I'll set a parentheses. So within the and, I need two things to be true. Let's see if I can get the cursor in there fine. Oh, that's not going to work. Let me just click on that. There we go. I think I'm in the right spot. So two things to be true. I want the month of dollar sign A row 2 to be equal to, let's get that back, equal to the month of today. Empty set of parentheses, closing parentheses for that month, comma. I also want the day of dollar sign A row number 2 to be equal to the day of today, empty set of parentheses, closing parentheses for the day. So with all those parentheses, it looks it can be pretty tricky and easy to make a mistake, but I think that's right. I need the month of A2 to be equal to the month of today and the day of A2 to be equal to, to the day of today. Notice I have a um, absolute reference dollar sign on the column because the column is going to stay the same as my check value, but the row is relative because that's going to change. I'm going to go ahead and do a format. I'll just change the background color to a light shade of green. Click OK. Click OK. Cool. Worked out well for us. The proper row is getting highlighted. Again, I'm recording this on February 6, so that works there. Complicated function. <clears throat> Let's try a similar one over here. I'm going to select this range of information. 
um, H2 to, what is it, K18, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula, very similar syntax, equals, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my parentheses for that and function. Now within the and function, I think I'm in there, let's see, I'm looking at the month and the year. So I want the month of dollar sign H row two, closing parentheses, to be equal to the month of today. Set of parentheses for the today, closing parentheses for that month comma, now this is the second argument of my AND function, I also want the year of dollar sign H relative to closing parentheses to be equal to the year of today. Empty set of parentheses, closing parentheses for the year. So I want the month of H2 to be equal to today's month, and I want the year of H2 to be equal to today's year. Now, I'm always picking the top row value to do this. I've selected all the cells in question. I'm picking the top row. Again, I'm making the column absolute because the column doesn't change, but the row is relative because the row does change. Um, let's see, for format, again, I'll do a light peachy color there. I'll click OK click OK, and I can see now that my February data is being selected. So if I were to save this worksheet and check it out tomorrow, then this row down here on February 7th would be highlighted. And if I check it again in a month, then my March data will be highlighted. But that's the key. I'll make sure I've got those formulas up there so you can kind of absorb them. They're a little bit long, but once again, just using those date functions. So thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, yeah, this is definitely a useful tool. I use something like this on a weight tracking spreadsheet. So each day is highlighted. And I use something like this month and year on my uh, budgeting and uh, retirement fund planning where I look at it month by month. And I always want the current month highlighted. So I do use both of these conditional format values quite a bit. So thanks. Take care.